a representation of what could soon be reality for UPS workers across the Bay Area. Dozens took part in a practice picketing demonstration outside of the San Francisco facility this morning, meant to help prepare workers to strike if a contract isn't reached by the end of the month. A lot of uh, the generation now has never experienced this before. I was in 97, I did experience it. Um, but there's few of us still left here from 97. That was 25 years ago. And so this is really for the new generation to kind of let them know that they have a voice and this is a way to exercise it. Joseph Celia with Teamsters Local 2785 exercising his voice. Who are we? Teamsters! Who are we? Teamsters! Celia says this morning's rehearsal around the facility sends a clear message to management and among top demands, maintaining health and welfare. It's very costly to live out in the Bay Area to sort of have a premium to pay on top of everything else is unmanageable. San Francisco Supervisor Shimon Walton throwing his support behind UPS workers this morning. So we want to make sure that the people who kept us moving through the pandemic, the folks who continue to make our economy move, are treated fairly. There was no COVID pay and there was no COVID relief for them. It was very difficult. So now it's time for UPS to pay, it's plain and simple. However, UPS says with nearly a month until deadline, it's the Teamsters that have stopped negotiating. Warning doing so can create significant issues among employees and customers and even threatens to disrupt the U.S. economy. A couple of folks that come up to me because they knew I was an official saying, hey, look, you can't not deliver my packages on August 1st. I said, well, you better order your packages now. In a statement, UPS said in part, we plan and expect to reach agreement on a new contract before the end of July. That is a win for our employees, our company and customers and the union. The union says it also plans to hold practice picketing demonstrations in both the San Bruno and Menlo Park locations as well in the next few days. For now, I'm in San Francisco. Amanda Del Castillo, ABC 7 News.